back in the lab, man. We got a special guest in this thing, man. You might see him on Facebook. You might see him on TikTok, man. We got Big Mouth Jerry in this thing, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Appreciate y'all having me, man. Appreciate oh, yeah, y'all sure, having man. me, man. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to be here. Hey, man. Appreciate you pulling up, man. Most so, definitely. Man. Most definitely, man. man go on telling your story, man. Where you from? You know, how you came up, all this. Y'all know, man, I'm from Mississippi. My hometown, Jonestown. Grew up in Quimby County, moved there, fifth grade. I left, I stayed in Nebraska for like some of my uh, younger years too. I stayed in Nebraska, Lincoln, Nebraska. But my hometown, Jonestown, and Quimby County. Shout out to Quimby County, Lamba, Mississippi. I rock with them down there. Those are my guys. They're like, they're like family to me down there. I got major family down there. Uh, and just the whole Mississippi, bro. I'll be in and out all through it, you know what I mean? I got major love out here. So, my whole, it's really my state. I love my state, yeah. you know. So I'ma say that. Shout out to the ship, man. So uh like we in Oxford now, you know what I'm saying? That's where we from, man. Like what's some of the, the major differences you, you see between the Delta and from Oxford, you know what I'm saying? Definitely I'm gonna say the crime rate. The crime rate here is like one percent. Like you don't see you don't hear daily base shootings down here. You don't see really too many like crimes going on. You don't see too many police just going out of their way to bother people, you know what I mean? And uh, you see a lot of different demographics here too. That's a major. Like you see people from different cities, different states, because you know it's a college city. You know what I mean? Oxford is like based on the college. You know, Ole Miss. Mm -hmm. So you see a lot of people with that basically. So yeah, that's what it is. That that's most of the difference I see. So tell everybody like you know how you got your name and all that. Big mouth chair. Man, growing up, man, my whole life I just talked a lot. I guess because I had a little man syndrome. I was always getting picked on, and I feel like I had to talk, 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 and stick my chest out a little extra more, you know what I mean? So that's pretty much what was going on. Right, 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 and right. And I just started calling myself Big Mouth, you know? Right, so like, tell me like about your influencer too, like how you, uh, you know, get on the comedy and all that. Man, I was playing around on social media one time, and I just made a meme, but my whole life I had the ability to make people laugh. But I didn't think I was going to just take it serious where like, I want to just be into comedy. Right. Even though I just was fascinated and had a thing for making people laugh, I just think, just think that I would just, you know what I'm saying, make a career out of it or nothing. But watching, like, Dave Chappelle, Bernie Mac, who's my favorite, uh, Kevin Hart, you know what I'm saying, Mike Epps, Cat Williams, Charlie Murphy, Richard Pryor, those guys, you know, the greats, watching them. And it made me feel like, oh, I can do this. So I just kind of drove with it from there. When I was about after watching that stuff and seeing that I took off on social media a little bit. That's pretty much what it was. So uh, where you get your work ethic from, man? Like, I see you, you be pretty consistent, like, posting and stuff, man. So, like, what motivates you, like, your work ethic? I'm going to be honest with you. When I when I started uh, doing it, I do it, like, one month. And then I'll turn around and post something, like, a month later. And I see that number's decreasing. Y'all seem like the numbers, my like my shares, my views, my likes, were the numbers were decreasing. So what I had to see was the more that you, the more that you work and you put out more, it keeps the people attention. You get what I'm saying? Like some people, they 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 people attention span are short. You know what I'm saying? People attention span is very short. If you leave them with something and then you just come back like a year later, if you, your fan you're gonna lose your fan base. But if you got like a following that's watching you and waiting for you to do something, you have to stay active. You have to stay giving them something to look forward to. You know what I mean? So I, that's what it, that's what it played a role in with it. So uh, what's your biggest goal with this shit, man? Where you want to take it to? Where you see yourself taking it to? Man, listen. If I can just... If I can get to the point where I can get big enough to give back to where I'm from, hit a few of these schools up and donate and get my mom in a better position, then I think that that would be enough for me, you know what I mean? Right, that will be enough for me right there. It's real, bro. You know? Yeah, so I want to know, like, man, just tell me, like, what was that first video, like, you did, like, Facebook, TikTok, where you knew, like, you know what? This shit out of here. Like, yeah, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm finna really go and turn up. Like, I already, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never seen no numbers like this. Man, listen, when I posted that graduation picture, I don't know if y'all seen that picture. It hit, like, 40,000 likes on Facebook, and it was shared... Everywhere, celebrities, light-skinned Keisha from Love and Hip Hop. She posted on her story. Uh, 
the dude that does six nine hair, a girl reached out to me. She's like, "Do you know Jonathan? The I guess he part of the LBG. What they, how they pronounce that? Uh, LGBT, yeah. Yeah. LGBT yeah. community yeah. or whatever. Uh-huh. Good guy, good guy. Have no no nothing against that. He's a good guy. Talked to him. We had a conversation with him. Show he because he uh, shared it, and I was showing my appreciation. You know, I want to tell him. You know, what I'm saying like, I appreciate you sharing my stuff because he has a following, right? And knowing that he has the people in this corner. Cause he hangs with um, what's the woman named Magna Stallion? So I, I reached out to him and I Facetime with him, and Magna Stallion was with him. You get what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, this is major. He's just like, so that was you, bro. That was funny as fuck, dude. I'm like, yeah. Me and my girl we were looking, we was on the Facetime. We're like, yeah, appreciate it. He's like, bro, if y'all ever decide to come out here to Texas, come out here woo to woo. I'm like, most definitely, I would definitely, you know what I mean? If we come out there, we fly out there, we'll definitely get in tune with you. So yeah, that's what made me feel like I could. You know, get out there and put more stuff out there and get other people's attention. If I got his attention, and Meg the Stallion was sitting there like she was laughing with him because I guess he seen it, yeah. and that kind of overblew me a little bit. Yeah. Do you think uh, being from Mississippi, oh, you back at all? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Well, who, that I'm glad you brought that up because I want to speak on that. The thing about people in Mississippi thinking that we cannot make it because we're from Mississippi, and we're stuck in that mindset. You gotta break that mindset. You guys have to be consistent. I'm constantly on this network. I'm networking every day. I'm on my phone. I'm on the laptop. I'm constantly on the phone having conversations and, and conferences with people talking about just swapping games and giving each other different knowledge and trying to open different doors. I'm not gonna settle and say that, oh, I'm from Mississippi, I'm not gonna make it. Absolutely not. I would never settle myself short. I love my state. There's a lot of people from this state that made it. And I'm not gonna be and I'm not gonna be the one that said I can't make it because I'm from here. We didn't watch people make it and blow up from here. You get what I'm saying? Shout out to those that did make it. The thing that we do, we think that we can't make it because we're so... People think that we're country and they think we're illiterate down here. Yeah. They think we have no sense. They think that we have no talent because we go unnoticed a lot. Mm-hmm. And the people that... A lot of people that do get on from Mississippi, they don't put on from Mississippi enough. And what I mean by that, they don't... We have a few that does put on. Trust me, we have a few. Like a rap artist. Shout out to Dave Short. A.K.A. Hey, Walk Dog. Shout out to David Banner. You know what I mean? Uh, there's a few others, you know what I mean, that, that, that put on for Mississippi that they got in the industry. Ray Schroeder, mm-hmm. they from, uh, what are they from, Holly Spring? Tupelo. Tupelo, Holly yeah, Spring, one of them. Yes, out the Ray Schroeder, them. Are you from Tupelo? No, nah, Big Crip. I'm from Big Crip. Big Crip from Tupelo. No, Big Crip from Red and Ray Schroeder from uh, Tupelo. Okay, okay. Well, shout out to those guys. They uh they put out, you know what I'm saying, they, they put on for the state. It's like Mississippi been having a little run, you know what I'm saying? It's Absolutely. Yeah, so it's like, it's like it's our time right now. Absolutely. And what people need to do is capitalize off that. Yeah. And, and even if you're not a rapper, bro, you don't have to be a rapper. You don't have, That's what I want people to know. You don't have to be a rapper to make it. Yeah, exactly, man. Right. Everybody has different... Bag and making videos and, man, graphics, let's, everything. Listen, I have a product right now, man. Shout out to my brother. His name is HD. You probably know him. Respect the shooter. He's the one that shoot all the rap videos. We started with one camera. He usually records. We have a studio. He started recording me. We got a camera from his grandmother. And I said, bro, you need to start trying to shoot videos. We shot a video. It was like 50 seconds. Ever since then, he took off. Look, he's shooting celebrity, they, celebrity videos. They're flying them out. And we talk every day. You know what I'm saying? Like, every day, that's my brother. I'm, I congratulate him on his success. He congratulated me on my success. You know, and that's what it is. That's what we need, more uplifting. So, shout out to him and everybody else in Mississippi, man. I'm going to constantly say this. You never let the people tell you that you're from Mississippi and you cannot make it. And use different lanes. Everybody don't have to use the same lane. Just because I do comedy... <coughs> Shit, excuse me. Don't mean that you have to do comedy. Just because somebody else raps doesn't mean you have to rap. You know what I mean? Everybody has their own lane. Choose your lane. Follow if it's your talent. It's something that you like doing. Chase it. Don't let nobody stop you. Chase it. Even if you don't think because you got them an A that you can't stop. Man, uh, I heard you mention Big Walk, dog. I know y'all are kind of from the same area. Do y'all have a relationship? Absolutely. He has a uh, he has a son. By my little cousin, they have a uh, a little boy together. Yeah. He's been he's been in our family for a while. My little cousin, they have a relationship, you know, a very open relationship with each other. Where everybody knows they've been together for a while. Very good dude, man. I watched him grow up. I, I didn't hang, been around him personally, like just hanging around him every day. He was a good kid. He used to play basketball. Never been a disrespectful person. I always been a laid back, chill, you know. 
The guy has a very good ability to rap it, man. And it's crazy how fast he blew up. That's why I tell people, don't you can blow up overnight. You get what I'm saying? You got people that have been rapping for years. Watch him get in the game. He was only rapping like a year and got signed. The internet, man. The internet. The internet. And another thing, he was networking. He was consistent. He was putting his all. He was putting all his money. They say he bought billboards before he even got signed. Yeah. He spent his money on buying a billboard and got it put somewhere up so people can recognize him. You know what I'm saying? That's man. You got to do. You got to invest in yourself. So shout out to Big Walk Dog, aka Day Joy. I see you, boy. Pre appreciate all the love. You know what I'm saying? You show back to me. You know how we rocking, bro. Yeah. So you think like man, everybody in the silk that can come together and actually, you know what I'm saying? Like maybe you get the rappers, you get, you know what I'm saying, the engineers, you get the video people. Can they all come together and Listen, you know what I'm saying, make it happen? It's a table being formed right now, and I see what you do and what you do. You're, I'm telling this, you guys from a brother to brother. There's more room at the table, bro. There's always room at the table. You can sit down with us and we can. It's all about networking and getting together and putting up there for each other. It's always room at the table, you know. So don't if you if you feel like anybody out there that feels like if you're from Mississippi and you want to jump on board with the team and you have a good work ethic, because laziness will be prohibited. You know what I mean? We're working, man. We're constantly Got working. Got we constantly working. There's no days off. It's not a day. Even if I don't, I don't post nothing. I don't post a picture, or a video, a skit, or you don't see me going live or anything like that. You guarantee that I'm working. I'm somewhere doing an interview. I'm somewhere uh, sitting there uh, perfecting my craft. I'm somewhere there watching a, a, a sitcom or something that, 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 that got my brain generating so I can come up with more ideas. You get what I'm saying? So, yo, yeah, there's always table, man. There's always room for us. anybody. I feel like we all can come together. I mean, I, I was looking at the TikTok, man. I think you had mentioned that uh, you did some time, man, for a shooting or whatever, man. Did you want to talk about that? Like, oh, yeah, absolutely, time, man. How it changed you? Like, did that have any influence on, like, how hard you going now or anything? Absolutely, man. I, uh, if you don't know, man, I, uh, when I was growing up, I was kind of... You know what you find in yourself? Yeah. Like, you still trying to, like... I was at the young, my adolescent years, I was trying to find myself. I was doing this. I had went to a stage when I thought I was a rapper. I went to a stage where I thought I was a gangbanger. I went to a stage where I thought I was a, a skateboarder. Yeah. You know how you just watching rappers grow up, you just trying to find yourself, you just doing stuff. And I just had like this big ego, bro. Like I was just so, when I thought I was a rapper, I just thought I had to put on this image of being so hard, bro. You know what I mean? Well, really, it doesn't even qualify all that, man. Yeah. I could have got thrown away. All praise to God to help. They don't still hear. It didn't, it didn't turn out severe. Me and the guy, the victim, we didn't have conversations. We didn't, uh, what do they say? You branch your, you, what do they call it when you, uh, when you branch the, what, what they, what's the word old saying? What, what you mean? Yeah, I think that's the name of it. I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, we didn't did that. We didn't, we didn't oh, talk. Made up, talking yeah, about we, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't, okay. I'm not going to say we made yeah, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't have a conversation. Like, no, no, yeah. No, he salute me, he didn't reach out to but me, I reached out to him. Other, and not, it's, it's yeah, it's, yeah, you know. Everybody can live, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You know, because I ain't out here trying to hurt nobody, bro. Yeah. I ain't going out my way trying to talk to people, thinking I'm talking, walking around with my chest out. Man, I, 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 to be honest with you, I try to avoid problems, bro. Yeah. Jail is not, I wouldn't wish jail on my worst enemy. It was the worst experience in my life. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where was you locked up at? I was locked up in the state of Nebraska. It, it's not even just about the jail. The jail wasn't hard at all. Like, the prison wasn't hard. Like, I didn't have problems, like, where I had to walk around with a shank all day or nothing like that. Like, the stuff you see people say. The TV. fact you being locked up. Being, yeah, you, you missing your family. You can't do what you My mom's on the phone crying to me. You don't want to live. Like, there's no way of living, man. Every day you waking up, you in the cell that you might have somebody in the cell with you that got life. You only got here. Yeah. He don't want to hear you on the phone. What are these yard going locked down like that? The COVID still going on like right now? These people can't even come out their cell. They got you in the cell. They got doing life. And y'all can barely come out the cell now because they're trying to stop the COVID from spreading. And you in the cell with a guy. They got life sentence and you got one year. And you on the phone with your family. You, you don't want to hear you in the cell talking about some. They put the phone through the door. You talking to your family. Yeah, I can't wait to get out. This and that. You don't want to hear that. Yeah. That man does not want to hear that, man. Yeah, exactly. 
You know, so yeah, there's not no way of living, man. Yeah. Man, like uh, a lot of people, they want to know if they ain't been here, but man, talk about the gang culture down here. Like, you know, a lot of young kids, you know, I know that they joining gangs nowadays. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of influence from Chicago, Mississippi, Chicago got a uh, connection or whatever. Man. See, see, that's what that's what my problem was, bro. I'ma always speak and and give it to them real. Listen, if you are here, don't never be weak minded to let music. When you, you, if you're, if you're weak-minded enough, especially if you're a dog, you should never be weak-minded enough to let music affect your reality. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's what a lot of people, you hear somebody talking about 30 this on their songs, 40 shots. And some dudes don't even be having enemies. They go looking for enemies. Because these songs will alter their way of thinking. And, they'll, and, they'll, and they'll, they're out and they feel like they got to live like they, what they're listening to. That's why some music, bro, I don't even listen to no more. Like, certain rap artists, I don't even, I don't even let them... Get it, they're not gonna get too much play in my ride. I'm sorry. Cause it'll alter what your way of thinking. That's just like hanging with somebody. If I hang with dudes that gangbang every day, eventually, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna gangbang. Oh, you yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> I like people that network, bro. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to level up. We're trying to create generation wealth, invest, and not have to work hard. Yeah. That's what we own, bro. The yeah. slavery days, having to work hard and all that, bro. We using our talent to our to our ability, our, our script. Yeah. You know what I mean? All that working hard and can't but man, that stuff don't have no money involved in it, man. Yeah, it real right there. I just seen dudes kill people and then they go to jail, nobody answer the phone for them. That girl yeah. leave them. Fact. That girl yeah, leave them. Two weeks. Two man. weeks. Like said, tender, frozen, tender span in two weeks. Man. Even man. when people die, you see it on Facebook yeah. all the time, somebody get killed. Nothing. Everybody rest in peace on like a week or two straight. After that, don't nobody say nothing about nobody like his mom, his sister, yeah. his brother. What's you know what I mean? Really care. That's really all you heard when you're doing the bullshit. Come on, man. Supposed to really care. Yeah. Man, but uh, I heard you uh, mention like the rap game. Like, who you listening to right now? Who's some of your top artists like in your rotation right now? Man, my favorite rap artist, I'm going to be honest with you. I listen to a lot of money, man. Yeah. And Kevin Gates. You talking about well, <laughs> money, man. I'm listening to money, man, and they're living in Kissing Gates, bro. Yeah. That's, that's, Drake is my all-time favorite rapper. I, I grew up on Lil Wayne. I grew up on Ludacris, Eminem. But like over those years, overall, I feel like that, that I can just consistently just love listening to and I can listen to all day. I can listen to some of Drake music now, but I like more money, man, than Kevin Gates music. It's like if I'm going on a trip and I just want to pop it in and hit play and don't skip, just sit back, kick my feet up, I'm listening to Money Man or Kevin Gates nine times out of ten. Yeah. You know, they get deep into detail. It's, Kevin Gates, I just feel like because he is a street guy. And I feel like I can relate to him. And Money Man, he's trying to elevate us, bro. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if y'all familiar. Y'all listen to him? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> on, uh, social media. Yeah, I like follow him. Y'all yeah, listen to that dude a lot. So you think um, comedy like might be like an easier way for folks to express themselves without having to be so hard and tough. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know. You do I mean, who doesn't like somebody that's funny, man? Yeah. Right. Unless you're like a dickhead or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Listen. Funny... Being funny, bringing humor, smiles. I didn't have people inbox me, man, like a whole page about what they was going through. And at the end of the thing, they tell me like they done lost their house, they done did this, this, and that. And at the end of it, like, you made my day. That little post you did made me laugh so hard, it made my day. That's what I do it for, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Because right. I really, I, this, this, I take this very, very serious, like, Comedy is like, yeah, I, I study this night and that is my passion. I love it. You know what I mean? So, that's what I do it for, bro. And wait, where you see yourself taking a brand to, man? What's your biggest goals, man? What you got coming up? I got a clothing line. It's going to be Big Mouth, Jerry, with my face on it. Well, it's going to be like just the teeth with the gap, you know, with the smile, you know. Um, I got a few other things I'm going to start going. Like, I'm trying to get, I'm gonna get a few trucks. Get a few trucks, a couple drivers. Yes, yeah, so I want to know, man, when I'm getting to see you on stage, man. You, gotta, you see, man, you had a lot of these, you know what I'm saying, stand up guys growing up. Like, you want to get on stage, do stand up yourself? See, I like stand up, but I like acting more. Okay. If that makes any sense, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, like, I want, I don't want to first start off like to do stand up first and it alters the people's way of thinking about my acting skills. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I want to get more like, I got a movie I'm working on, you know, 
I wasn't supposed to leak this information, but it's already one of the guys already leaked it out on the internet. So yeah, I got a movie coming out. It's gonna be on Netflix, Hulu. I don't tell you the name of it yet. It's gonna be Netflix, Hulu, and Tubi. So I'm more into acting than stand up, but I'm gonna do stand up. I got a lot of material for stand up, but I just gotta study it a little more. Okay. You know, that's kind of my biggest fear, bro. Stand up a little bit. Yeah, I see a lot of your uh, skits on social media. Like they, they come from like real life, or like you know, the real life situations. You know what I'm saying? I seen you uh, driving a car the other day, like the baby mama car hollering their chicks and stuff like that. Like that stuff that really go on. So like, like is that what like what most of your motivation come from for your stuff? Like real life, or like just how you come up with the stuff, man? See, when you do comedy, you very most people that do comedy are very observant people. I pay very close attention to things. You know what I mean? Like. Small things, I'm very, I'm always watching stuff. I'm always paying very close to details on things. You know, it can be good and it can be bad. Because sometimes you might be paying attention to something too close and it might be something like, I didn't have a situation where I didn't see, it'd be something that somebody can't control, like something that they was born with, a disability or something. And I'll say something and I'm like, dang, they're like, no, you know, all my bad. You know, so I had to, you know what I mean? Very, mm -hmm. The most observant stuff. I'm always watching stuff. So if I see something, I'm like, dang, that's funny. And I can just reenact it or something, I'll make a scene about it or something. Mm -hmm. And people can relate to it, say, doing relatable things most of it. Mm -hmm. So I got a question too, man. So, like, as far as TikTok go, like, I know you really can't really get paid from TikTok, but like, are you can't you, get what? You can't really, you know what I'm saying, from actual views, but you can actually. You know what I'm saying? Like, put your brand out there. Like, are you actually, you know, making you a little bit of money from your videos? I'm going to say something real quick. I just, I just got this right here. What does that say right there? Just read that. You read it out loud. What does yeah, it say? I'm going to let Tyler read it. Don't click it, just read it. What are we reading? Read right here. What does that read? What does that say? TikTok creator fund, November funds available for withdrawal. The boy getting paid. <laughs> and that's just, the that's paid. just November's. That's what's up, that's what's up. <laughs> that's what's up, bro. Yeah, so yeah, you get paid on social media, you gotta get monetized though, after a certain amount of views and stuff. Okay. You know, so yeah, yeah money's coming in. Off of it. And don't, and I, man, I'm making a lot of little money on promotion too. Yeah. Like a lot of people pay me to promote. Like I'm, I host a lot, of, I host a lot of things. I'm in a couple rap videos. Uh, yeah, I've made a lot of on social media. Man, tell them where to find you at, man. Anybody that's looking for you that want to book you or whatever, or want to get get you in that movie or whatever, man, drop all the social for them, man. All my social platforms is Big Mouth Jerry. Instagram, Big Mouth Jerry, spell a mouth with an F. You know, and that Facebook is Jerry Cullen. If you're not friends with me, because you know it's only a limited amount of friends you can get, go find somebody that you might be mutual friends with. And tell them inbox me if you inbox me and I check my message because if I don't see it, inbox somebody that's friends with you, that's friends with me, tell them to inbox me and we can do it that way. You know? Alright, so you right now you kinda like operating on your own, you ain't really got a manager or nothing yet? I got a manager. I got a manager that I got a manager, that's what, what was taking me so long I was on the phone with him. I got a manager too. You can okay. reach out to him, Jimmy Matthews. He's a he's an army guy, he's been in the army for years, he's reserved right now. Or retired, whatever they call it, you know, you got the army. Oh yeah, so yeah, that's my manager, Jimmy Matthews. But yeah, y'all get that on, man. Yeah, yeah, appreciate yeah. it, man. Uh, you got anything else you want to add, man? Tell the people. Hey, listen, man, I got a lot coming out. Y'all get me tuned for my movie that's coming out. Uh, it's gonna be at the end of this year. It's in the works. Uh, I'm a, I'm going on a mini tour. So if you if you see your city, your state on the listing when I put it on my social media platforms, reach out to me. We maybe can link up when I'm in your city or whatnot. You know, for a meet and greet or something. Uh, and that's pretty much what's going on, man. Y'all stay tuned with my videos. Go follow me on TikTok, Big Mouth Jerry, spell the mouth with an F instead of TH. Go follow me on Instagram, Big Mouth Jerry, spell the mouth with an F, not a TH. And Facebook, Jerry Cullen. And on my uh, Twitter, you can follow me on Twitter. It's Big Mouth Jerry, spell the mouth with an F, not a TH. Appreciate y'all that are watching side here and viewed this. Be tuned for everything that I got coming. Oh, yeah. Appreciate you coming oh, yeah. through, man. Yeah, Big yeah, Mouth yeah, Jerry yeah, and yeah, this yeah, time, yeah. man. Silk. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. Appre